Good day everyone, I am Mark Joseph Panang from BSME3A, one of the Panang Squared and for today's video, I am going to show you on how to analyze and solve problem from the fundamentals of deformable bodies. We are going to solve the problem 1.37 from the Book of Mechanics of Materials, 4th edition by Beer, Johnston, and D. Wolf. The problem states that the link AB is to be made of a steel for which the ultimate normal stress is equal to 450 megapascal. Determine the cross-sectional area for AB for which the factor of safety will be 3.50. Assume that the link will be adequately reinforced around the pins at A and B. Along with that is the figure that illustrates the problem. From the problem, we are given with the ultimate normal stress which is equal to 450 megapascal. Now this stress refers to the maximum stress that the material of the link AB can withstand under an applied force. Also, we have the factor of safety that is given that is equal to 3.50. Then we are asked to solve for the cross-sectional area for the link AB. Now how do we solve this? Here is a step-by-step -step process on how to come up with the required solution. First is to draw a free body diagram. Next is applying the equation of equilibrium. Then we can calculate the summation of moments, which is our second step, and the summation of forces for our third step. Lastly is to determine the cross-sectional area in the link AB. Without further ado, let's start the solution. First thing is to illustrate the free body diagram or FBD and show the applied forces, moments, and the resulting reactions of the given problem. Here is the free body diagram that illustrates the problem. As you can see, the point B to E involve the distributed load and the other points is also applied with forces, which affects the link A and B. Then we assume that this link will be adequately reinforced around pins at A and B. The second step is the summation of moments. We are going to sum all the moments around the point of axis. In this case, it is the point B. So we are going to take moments about point B. By using the equilibrium equation, we have the summation of moments at point B is equal to zero that is counterclockwise positive. Based on our FBD, we can determine the moments by multiplying the force applied by the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. To start with, we have at point C, a force of negative 20 kN times 0.4 meter, that's the distance from point B to C, minus 8 kN per meter, that's the distributed load for every meter from B to E. So we multiply it to the distance where it is distributed, that is equal to 1.2 meter. And then multiply it half to the total distance, that is 1.2 meter over 2, because it is at the center of the structure that the force would act. That is halfway the distance from the reference point. And then add the dy multiplied by the 0.8 meter, that's the total distance from B, to D and then equal to zero. So by simplifying the equation, we can get the value of dy is equal to 17.2 kilonewton. Notice that the first two terms is negative and the last term is positive. It is because we said that the rotation is counterclockwise positive with respect to the point B. For the third step is the summation of forces in this part we can determine the force that acts at the link from A to B. Again, using the equilibrium equation, we set the summation of forces BA is equal to zero. So we now have the FB sine 35 degree plus dy. These two forces are positive because the forces acted upwards. Minus 8 times 1.2 minus 20. These two forces are negative because the two forces acted downwards. That is equal to zero. The next step is to transpose to the right side the dy minus 8 times 1.2 minus 20 and then divide both sides by sine 35 degrees. So we now have the 
F B A is equal to 8 times 1.2 plus 20 minus 17.2. The 17.2 is the value for the dy that we calculated earlier. That is over sine 35 degree. Therefore, the forces that act on the link B A is equal to 21.62 kN. The fourth and the last step is to determine the cross-sectional area of the link A and B. Since we are asked to determine the cross-sectional area, then we are going to introduce the factor of safety. When we say factor of safety, it is the ability of a system's structural capacity to be viable beyond its expected or actual load. It is expressed as the ratio of ultimate load to allowable load and it must be greater than 1. We are given with a formula that is factor of safety or FS is equal to ultimate load over allowable load. So when in terms of stress, consider that a constant area or area towards from one point to another point which in our case from point A to B is constant. So we consider that to derive this equation and use the second formula to solve the problem. So we have the second formula that is factor of safety or FS is equal to ultimate stress over allowable stress. Using the formula for the factor of safety, we have the ultimate stress over the allowable stress. As we all know, allowable stress that is written in color blue, the formula is FBA over A. The FBA, we already calculated that one that is equal to 21.62. So our allowable stress is equal to 21.62 over A. And we're going to use this value and input it for the formula for the factor of safety. So we now have 3.5 for the factor of safety and for our ultimate stress that is equal to 450 megapascal. But we're going to write it as 450 times 10 to the power of 3 kPa. Over the allowable stress, we have the 21.62 kN over A. So the unknown here is the area. By simplifying the equation, we can have the value for the cross-sectional area equal to 1.6815 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters squared or equal to 168.15 millimeters squared. Therefore, the cross-sectional area of AB is equal to 168.15 millimeters squared. And that's all for that problem, and I hope that you have learned something from it. God bless.